I'm telling you this tape which was recorded by Radio London prior to the opening of our new store in Wall Street Hackney on the site where I had my first market store. I'm sure you will find it most interesting. The new Tesco store is on the site where the company's boss, Sir Jack Cohen, started his retailing career as a barrow boy. He told Sue Woodman how he left the Air Force in 1919 and bought a load of surplus groceries. I behind a barrow and I went down to the market and I saw the fellow there with an empty stall. I said to him, uh, any chance of getting a stall here? And he said, it'll cost you a shilling. So I gave him a shilling and he let me put my boxes on the, uh, on the stall. I stood there for about an hour and nobody, nobody spoke to me at all. I, I wasn't used to the market life at all. But uh, all of a sudden I realised that if I didn't start shouting and screaming, I'd take the whole lot back and I always knew what my father would say to me then. Give us an example of it, the way you did it then. Now ladies, come and have a look at my words. See what I've got here. I've got a large golden syrup, I've got fish paste, I've got peaches and pears and pineapple. I, th I think you'll get the best value you can in London. Do you think that it's due to your salesman's technique that you, the barrow boy, made it to be the owner of the biggest grocery uh, store in I Britain? I started it. I think that I did a very good job. I used to work night and day, you see, and every day I went to a different market. Within a week I was going to six markets and I was making quite a few, few pounds. It gave me an incentive. I had no shops, I had no uh, my warehouse was my father's workshop, and every, my, every penny I took, I bought more goods for. When people say they can't make a living, you've only got to want to work, you see. You must have the ambition. Once I got those few pounds in my pocket, there was no holding me. It was mine. It belonged to me. First day I went out, I earned a pound, you see. That pound was very sweet to me. And I followed the same pattern all my life. And today we've got 600 branches or more, the largest supermarkets in the country, and I started with my own, with my own money. Your motto has been pilot high, sell it cheap. Yes, that it's, it's still the same today. I invented that, that motto, you've got to pilot high and sell it cheap and tell people what you've got. If you're standing still looking at it, you never get anywhere. And I say today there's many opportunities for young men to, to make a good living if they want to, but they've got to work with it. If they don't want to work, they'll never get on. What do you think the future is for the grocery retailing trade? Well, I think it's a very great future. I mean, the supermarkets today, of course, are the thing. I mean, we've got stores that are taking uh, £150,000 a week, you know. That's a lot of money. And I used to take four pounds in the morning. Uh, but it's only about drive and initiative and having to go and teaching your people and then take an example of what, you're, what you were doing. It, the, the supermarket is only the market of, of yes, yesterday, and the future will be more and more supermarkets. So going to Wall Street to open there a supermarket, that's quite a symbolic thing for you, isn't yeah, it? It's a very great thing for me to go back there, because it's a wonderful store, and you have to think that I was the one that started this thing. The head of Tesco's, who today comes full circle with his latest supermarket in Hackney. I hope you enjoyed my little chat with interviewer Sue Woodman. I should like to take this opportunity to send you and your family my very best wishes for Christmas and the New Year. At the same time, thank you for all your support and efforts during 1978, which have kept Tesco in the forefront of the retail supermarket trade in this country.